All right, this is the layout of today's track. We've got a north facing slope and we have a wind also uh, coming out of the south. So the wind and the slope will be in concert with each other. That's great. So we'll know exactly the fire is gonna want to, want to come to this corner. So we're gonna initiate the fire here. We will try to secure this top line. This is our vulnerable line. As you can see over here, this is already blackened in. So we really don't have to be too concerned about that, that at all. This is gonna be our main line of concern. And as I say to anyone who's doing burn, this will be the exciting area over here that you'll wanna watch, but it's actually over here that you wanna be watching because if we can catch a spot over when it starts, we can easily put it out. If we're not paying attention to it, it can get out of control very easily. Um, what I'll have you do is just help me get this line ready and then we'll divide up. We'll, we'll get this blackened in, maybe about 10 yards or so. Then we'll go and peel off another piece and try to get some heat coming, a head fire coming up, get the intensity enough to, to kill these oaks. Not a whole lot of fuel on here, so we don't have a lot of risk of spot over, but we always wanna be paying attention to that. If in fact we do have a spot over, hold this just a second. It's very important to understand how to address um, a fire. If you had a spot over right here, you would not want to place yourself like this and try to put it out because you would be raking the fire into an unburned area. So if you have a spot over here, you want to address it this way and pull it back into the burned area. Small detail, but a big one. How far back does the burn unit go and is, where's the fire line along the south end? All right, the southern end of this tract is really good because it is a wet area. It has running water. It will not, because it will not want to go downhill, it will not want to go into the wind, so it's going to back down to that creek, so we don't have to worry about that at all. And this area is blackened. So two sides, it's like a triangle right here. Two sides of it are secure. It's just this one side of the triangle that we're going to have to pay attention to. Okay. Are there any smoke considerations in the surrounding area that we need to be thinking about? There are no neighbors. You know, the closest neighbor is probably two or three miles away. So today with the size of this and where the wind is, we won't have any smoke concerns. Okay. 